Welcome back, Hordlings, to more Neverwinter Nights. So what you want to do for the light puzzle, you're going to grab some purple gems here. You can leave the others. And what you want to do on these primary colors is you want to press the red gem in on one and the blue on the other, which of course causes the color purple to be made. And then since we've taken the pool, the two purples from the center, we have purple here and then we need to cause purple to be on the secondary colors. So what you're going to do is take your purple gems, right click, go to split, split them in two, put a purple gem in that pool, and a purple gem in that pool, and voila! Done and done, son. Done and done. Alright, let's go make some noise. Lug Lug stomp his ass! But a rest after that. <laughs> Now, of course, whatever combination or pattern that the gong fairy did in the past, you're going to replicate in the present. First, we're going to... It is certain as death itself. Steal. The task is done. I have a lot of shit to sell when we're done with this. Feel the chill touch of the grave. The task is done. <laughs> nice delayed. All right, so we ring this one upper right, upper left, lower right, lower left, lower right, upper left. Lower left, and finally, upper right. It's another seal broken from the vault. The task is done.
now we get to go play with some alchemy. It is certain as death itself. Luckily, Buglug has a pretty serious fortitude saving throw, so... Go ahead and attack Grimnog. He has double the fucking AC I have. Yes, over here, midget. It is certain as death itself. Why, thank you for opening that for me. It's nice having two chest bashers. I knew that was happening. I kind of need to go back to town anyways to uh, sell, because I got so much shit here. A little overloaded. Poor Grimnar falling in battle, as usual. To be torn from the embrace. I'm going to go identify and sell. I'm just going to cut the cameras. I'll, of course, show you anything I decide to keep or that's worthy of mention. All right, I'm back. I dropped a bunch of uh, basically all my literature on the carpet hey, there in case I need it for the future. Uh, I got a ring of elemental resistance, which is cool. We're going to hang on to that. And this is the axe, the Ask of Dead Illusk, the battle axe that we wish was a great axe. Little known section of ruined Illusk holds corpse after corpse from a barbarian invasion repelled ages ago. The clan is forgotten, but their surviving weapons seem to embody everything cruel and savage in warfare and create fearful images in the minds of those who witness them. 1d8 plus 2 axe has vampiric regeneration, causes fear, and too bad it's not a great axe. It's getting sold. There's our magnificent gem collection. I'll be selling that here shortly. And my elemental ring of resistances. When Galval the bull tired of mundane enemies, he decided to invade the abyss. He spent his fortune on a ring that made him proof against all forms of elemental damage. The first ring of this type, no one knows if the ring would have protected him in the 666 layers of the pit. His men mutinied at the open portal and pushed him through without any of his equipment. He's not been heard from since. So you get 15 resist from the elements. Acid, cold, electric, and fire. Definitely will hang on to that. I don't think you can stack them. I had two. I went ahead and sold the other one. I don't think there's a way to check either when you when you look at your stats here. It doesn't tell you. So spell resistance. And then it'll put uh it'll put damage resistance down here if you put the ring on, but it doesn't tell you specifically a number. And yes, Lug Lug looks invisible because I drank an invisibility potion. Because I felt like it. Get him! And he just attacked Rah! me last time.
All right, let's fill up with more shit. How about a fucking plus nine great axe? Tamerlan's Song. I believe that's for Sharwin. That's a request item. There are many unusual items in the game. This is one of them. That's Sharwin and Delian's item that they'll want. Me first, you wimp. Sundial that'll take us back to time in case you fuck up the first time through. Tome of the Amulet. I'm pretty sure the tomes are only for sorcerers or wizards who are going to be mixing, but I'm still picking them up and dropping them just in case they have any other use that I've forgotten. Or that you guys can clue me in on. But I think they're for the magic users to do mixing only. Stun me that time, you bitch. This is the final puzzle. This puzzle of smoke. Well, that was interesting. My power just went out and corrupted the last five minutes of data that I was recording. So, unfortunately, my horde leans, you missed the battle with the Balor. Baylor, the, ba the Balor Lord, big demon fucker. Uh, looks the same as the one that you we, we uh, found in the summoning room several videos back. Where he pops out of here and then you gotta slay his ass. He killed Grimnaw, of course. And uh, Lug Lug. Didn't take too much damage. I basically used a Clarity Potion, Bull Strength, uh, Endurance, and a... Uh, what else did he use? Oh, bark skin. Also, only other thing you missed is I went back into the sound room where the sound puzzle was, and when I killed that Bodak, I forgot to pick up the fairy bottle, which has a little fairy in it from the past. So that's all we lost. Unfortunately, we lost that cool battle with the Balor. But there'll be more of those to come in the expansions and such. So hopefully the power doesn't go out again on me. That pretty much pisses me off and I don't have any recent Ooh, saves other than that oh, you got me mad. they're all the way back in the past of course I guess I could Ooh, run and do it real quick me just, mad. of course then I gotta kill all the golems in the future I'm, Fuck. Rip your I'm not dealing with it and make it my puppet. I need to start keeping more saves though Or at least double save in between uh, before I do a major battle or major plot point just in case something like that goes wrong.
All right, so let's go ahead and search the altar, which of course has the word of power. You have done well to find the second word. Its power draws my spell so that my projection may speak to you in this vision. There is much you must know. What lizard girly need to tell? Morgrim is nothing but a fool. He does not truly understand what he seeks. The words are ancient beyond imagination. They contain power he cannot fathom. I, Hadralin of the Word Slaves, was there at the beginning when the world was hot and this land was jungle where the old ones ruled. What you mean, world be hot? World not hot, world be cold! Once this winter land was a lush jungle. Vents from the earth blasted scorching steam into the sky, and the world was warm and fruitful. The old ones lived in this paradise, as did we word slaves. Word slaves? Huh? The living power of the words Morgrim seeks to be bound in the flesh of the word slaves. We were unwilling guardians, our souls tied to the ancient magic of the old ones. When the world was hot, we word slaves suffered for the empire of the old ones. The words ripping their power from our tortured spirits and our living flesh. Why you tell me this? The humans and elves and dwarves were but slaves to my people, the creator race. Just as I was a slave bound with the power of the words. <laughs> Until the extinction of my people and the coming of the endless winter. If Lizard Girlie's friends are all dead, why Lizard Girlie still here? When the old ones vanished, the power of their words remained. As did we, the word slaves bound to that power, forced to walk the now frozen and desolate earth, forced to preserve the words and legacy of our masters. Many word slaves died when the endless winter came, but some learned to survive in the frozen waste, hiding from the lesser races who now hunted us. To survive what the masters could not endure. When all these die, where do power words go? Over the centuries, the magic of the words became dormant. Their power faded. And as we who were left behind grew strong, the bonds enslaving us were broken. We who had once been slaves scattered and hid the words so that we would be forever free of their legacy. Now, thousands of years have passed, and even we who hid the words no longer know where to find them. Why the creator race go bye-bye? The world grew cold. The jungles died. Frost and snow covered the land. For all their power, the masters could not stop the change. <gasps> they vanished from the world, consumed by the earth that had turned against them. What Morgrim got to do with all this? Morgrim seeks to unlock the dormant power of the words so that he may enslave again. Word slaves, humans, dwarves, elves. Morgrim would have all bow to him as master. Morgrim want to be mastered? Even dumb old me figured that out. You big help, lizard girly. Spare me your sock. 
You are as big a fool as Mogrim. Mogrim is already doomed. <laughs> the words were meant to release ancient evil upon the land. To devastate those who survived the change, the old ones could not. The plague was only the first of the evils the words will unleash. <laughs> The world as you know it shall be no more if Morgrem succeeds. This is the legacy of the Creators. The world is No! It cannot be! Oh, oh. Morag! You hurt Lizard Gurley! Morag! He strikes at me! This cannot be! <sighs> She attacks me through the words. She disrupts my spell of projection. <sighs> no go yet. What you say about words, lizard girly? No! Never mind. Morag's a bitch. Come on, Grim, now stop dying. Hey, I'll take We can forgive Grim all that time. It was a gigantic demon. With the damage reduction of 30, unless you hit him with the plus 3 weapon, so that, that proved to be the hardest part. Since mine only counts as plus 2. The city of Neverwinter is forever in your debt for recovering the first word of power. We hope you will have continued success on but now is not the time to dwell on past successes. There are more words yet to be found before Margrim gets his claws on them. We have power word! Why in Lord Nasher's name didn't you tell me this right away? Do you realize how utterly frustrating your dim nature can be for those of normal intellect? No, of course you don't. Hopefully this will slow the armies advancing on Neverwinter. At the very least, the loss of another word of power will strike a harsh blow to the plans of Mulgrim's cult, whatever they may be. Despite my initial unfavorable impressions of you, you have proven yourself worthy of my respect. Allow me to express the gratitude of Neverwinter by giving you a reward of 2,500 gold pieces. Me got lots of gold! Me want magic stuff! Give magic stuff! Eloquent as ever. Why don't you give your face a good wipe? You've still got a few flecks of frothing drool on your chin from the huh? burst. I wish I had something to spare, but the few magical items donated by the retired heroes of the Lord's Alliance are required in the defense of Neverwinter. I have nothing to spare. I'm Gold sorry. shiny! Me happy! Me see Lizard Girly again! Adrilene? What did the Lizard Woman have to say this time? She say she old! She say she creator raced! She seem nice! I'm no history expert, but wouldn't that make her thousands of years old? I'm not sure whether I believe her, and I don't know what this has to do with Margum. But I intend to try and find out. Leave Hadrilene to me. Margum and his crew are still skulking around the countryside, which means they must believe there's at least one more word still undiscovered. Find it before they do. I wish you luck in your mission. 
The very survival of Neverwinter may depend on it. Is there something? Still not willing to give up on the story. And Dalen's dumbass is still blocking the door. And I forgot to talk to that bitch about the fucking tree. God damn it. Reload time. <laughs> Completely forgot about the bitch in the garden. I gotta go see my tree. There she is. Greetings. Once more, I must thank you for planting the Ultarg seed trees for me. Or is this the first time I'm thanking you? <laughs> no matter. I am grateful in any case. Me want my reward! Have I not given it to you yet? No. I suppose I haven't, or you wouldn't be asking now, would you? What to give, what to give. Ah, I know. Perhaps these gems will be a suitable reward, though beauty may offset your ugliness. Oh, uh, what I meant to say was, well, let's face it, you're rather unattractive. Give me more or me stomp you! Obviously, you have no concept of existence across multiple temporal realities. As long as I remain in this place and this time period, I am eternal and, in effect, immortal. You can't hurt me, so your threats have no meaning. Farewell, Lug Lug. Until we meet again for the first time. Ha! Another time travel joke. Or maybe I haven't told any yet. I'll chop down your fucking tree, bitch! Once more, I must thank you for... Did she really just give me a bunch of fucking topaz? That is bullshit. I reloaded for fucking topaz? Shit! Alright, I'm gonna cut back to where we were so you don't have to watch any of it again. Alright, so now we're going to start our conquest of the third word of power. That's going to take place in Moonwood. Off to the west. Got a fucking move, baby. Getting shot at with fire arrows. Must be orcs. A whole lot of fucking orcs. Sit in here. Grimnaw, what the fuck are you doing, you fucking jackass? Attack! You gone retarded? Alright, 
All right, folks, that wraps it up for this video. Stay tuned, and we're going to infiltrate Obode's lair and collect us some heads.